the people that's not here. This Kev. Hey, yo, we are Games Music Life. So we're back to review this Chance the Rapper project. Yeah, man. The big day. It was the big day. The, it was his big day. Yeah, absolutely. It was his big day. Yeah. Uh, did we care about it, though? That's that's the question a lot of people yes, were asking. Man, everybody so. was looking forward to this album. I mean, you know. Did we look forward to his big day? Because that's his what he, he painted a picture of his, of his big day for us. Yeah, I, I think, uh, listen, listen, people wanted want a chance to win. Okay? Do they? Yeah, absolutely. Man. I'm not convinced. He's not a convinced good to, guy. I'm not okay. That's and that's the problem I think people are having with him <laughs> is the fact that he is a good guy. All right, so let me get let's get into this. Okay. All right. All right first off, Chance the Rapper. What was the last time we reviewed where Chance was featured on it? Because I remember saying I don't that. know if we can count anything as an album at this point. This was his debut. Okay. Yeah. But the last project we it was some project we reviewed that had him featured on it. I don't remember. I don't fact check either. Mm-hmm. Um, I was nervous about the Chance album. This album kind of came out of nowhere. Was it what? Was it Ed Sheeran? Maybe it was Ed Sheeran. Okay. Because I said I hated I hated uh, Chance you went, you didn't, Yeah, I didn't, didn't like I didn't that. like that album either. But all right, so walking into this one, didn't really know it was coming. Kind of came out of, out of the blue for me. I don't follow Chance on any social media, so I didn't know this album was coming at all. Okay. Um, leading into it, I was, like I said, nervous about the album. I didn't know what to expect. So we get into the project, right? Listen to the music. Um, first off, Chance was he was rapping in parts. All right, he was. I thought he was snapping. I thought he was did a decent job. I forget what track it was. We started off the Birdman hand rub. Um, <laughs> I was really rocking to that one. Kind of gave me a little bit of acid uh, rap uh, vibes on that one. But the problem I have with the project, just to talk a little bit on the other end of it, is that I, I don't want him to do the hooks anymore. Really? Why nah, not? Nah. Because I just think. I don't know, like the whininess of it. I, I really don't know. I don't know if I like Chance on on as many hooks as I heard him on this on this project. It was and, a long album. <clears throat> it was very. Was it was case. a very long album. I think he should have condensed it down a little bit. It'd been a little better if he condensed it down. Um, what was it? An hour and seventeen minutes. Yeah. I would have liked it being around thirty five minutes. Um, I think thirty five minutes would have been a for good a debut form. album. Though it's not a debut, kid. Will you quit saying that? It's I not mean, a debut album. That was how it was marketed. That's how it's built. I'm going with it's a debut. Okay, so you're gonna say it's, you're gonna label it as debut. I mean, he okay, labeled it right, as okay, his okay, debut. Okay, we're gonna say that. Whatever. I, at an hour and seventeen, we've heard enough chance for it. He can give us a, a good <laughs> half hour to forty five minutes at tops at that. Because yeah. I do think that for it to be as long as it has been, an hour and seventeen minutes, there was some filler on here. Uh-huh. Um, and that's the problem I had with the project was that because some of it started to sound a little bit the same. The skits I found were very very funny um i do like that it went through the entire embodiment of what, a, what happens at a wedding you have your fights you have your laughter you got your crying you got your moments you got your retrospect all those things can happen at a black wedding yeah uh, or any wedding for that matter yeah um so i did like that i like the skits when it came down to it um the features were pretty decent as well um the baby came through and, and, ro- and wrecked it again i'm i'm a, I'm a, I'm a baby fan man yeah <laughs> you know i definitely guy. that is my guy i'm a i am a da baby fan the uh, big fish track with gucci man was pretty dope too all right so let me get into what i what i have with the album so the project to me right like i believe that a young a young man should be progressing to marriage or progressing to growing up and i do think that marriage does signify growing up um so for that matter, that is selfish for me because I do love the love that aspect of it. But I can understand if someone doesn't. I can understand if someone came into this project. I don't know what to expect because I think they wanted more than coloring book. They wanted to turn from it because mm-hmm. it it was a lot of like an extension of coloring book to me. Um, so I I can understand if a person because the chance fans are killing it, and that's why I kind of was wondering like, well, what did they have an issue with? I didn't have that big of an issue with it being anything other than what I expected. I expected it to be a very happy album. I expected it to be very positive <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because that's what he gives off. I do appreciate the fact that he's transparent with his music. And uh, shout out to Sean. One of the things he said from it, which I um, he said was that this album was a uh, a gift to his wife. That was his wedding gift to his wife was this album. Okay. I'm rolling. I can, I can, I can, I can get see that. that. I, I can see that, see that. argument. Um, but with that all being said, the positivity that Chance alludes is some somewhat of which people have an issue with. And I think that that's that's a weird thing to even it say. It is, it is, but that's true though. It's very weird to say, and I, I I do find it odd that it does happen that way because he, he exudes positivity. Right. I do think it's odd his brother is rapping about being married again. That's kind of weird, but that's a whole other thing. Not even um, going there with you. You are not? No. Nah. Hey, come on, man. Uh-uh. Jump on the sledge with me. No. All uh-uh. right. What do you think, bro? Well, I, I have a question for you. Go ahead. All right. So, outside of all of that, what did you think of the rapping? Like Chance the rapper, he was rapping. Is, is him rapping. I thought okay. he was rapping very well. I thought that he was bending words. I thought he was just 
jump into different flows. Yeah. I just didn't like the uh, the the um, the um, the the the, the, the courses, not courses. I'm sorry. The uh, yeah, the the, the courses, course, the, the courses from him, the hooks. Yeah, the hooks from but, him. I, I, I mean, didn't like that from him. A he lot. got a, he got a lot of help on the hooks as well, though. But he was on a lot of them too. He, I mean, he was. I mean, listen, we know that Chance is gonna and give us his. Thing. You don't know me. That's a personal. Yeah, thing. I can yeah. feel that. Go but ahead. I mean, we know that Chance is going to give us, uh, you know, those those like singing points on here. I mean, he's done it his entire career. Yeah. Like you know, yep. I don't know what what else anybody else expected other than Chance to be himself. Like to me, this is right in line with what Chance the rapper does. Now, mm-hmm. this whole project, uh, it was themed. It was all centered around you know him getting married at his wedding day, getting mm-hmm. married to his wife, uh, you know, establishing that family unit. Yeah. Um, and. You know, if, if that's not something that, you know, you can relate to or vibe with, then you may not vibe with this album or whatever. It may not be for you just because the themes uh, won't connect with you. Maybe the emotions won't connect with you because that's really all he talked about the entire time. Yeah, yeah, OK, I mean, yeah. there, there was a little points in there where he deviated, but for the most part, that was it. Yeah. Um, with that, I guess my biggest problem with this album, uh, if, if I had to say I had a problem with it, would just be that it was a little too focus grouped it, it seemed like he was trying too hard like these records all sound super big like for me right out the gate when you start off uh, like all day long starts off with john legend that lets me know okay we're going for hits yeah everything's <laughs> got to be a single on here okay uh this this album it sounds like he was trying to make it for everyone he was trying to please uh you know a full spectrum of fans sounds like a lot of music that you could play uh with you know your your cookout with your family <laughs> You know yeah. what I mean? Like maybe if this came out earlier in the summer, I might feel different about this record because everything just sounds big and grand and expensive and luxurious. Mm-hmm. Um, and Chance was really just trying to, you know, uh, make himself appeal to the masses. Mm-hmm. And when you do that, sometimes, man, you can stray mm-hmm. away from what made you great. And mm-hmm. I think that that may be what Chance fell victim to in spots because I mean, his rapping has been what I've always expected from uh, Chance. You know what I'm saying? Some of his bars are going to be funny, witty, uh, high energy. Some of it is going to be corny. He's, you know, he's, and I mean, I don't, I don't mean no disrespect. Yeah, you know, yeah. I know what you mean. You know, yeah. it's just like, hey, man, listen. Sometimes he's just silly, like that. Uh, that we're all dudes bar yeah, on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Like, is it, <laughs> yeah, come on now, you know what time it is. Right, right. But um, uh, you know, there was nothing just blatantly outside of what I have known him to do this entire time. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just that you know maybe he was just trying a little bit too hard, but. I, I've seen a lot of people killing this album yeah. and I don't feel like it deserves that because it's not that bad of an album mm-hmm. in, in my eyes. Like it, it's, it's got a lot so of redeeming either. qualities. Yeah, I don't think so either. But I think it's not, in the hip-hop community especially, it's always cool to be that guy, to uh-huh. be the guy with all the girls, the guy, you know, I'm going to take your chick type of thing. Yeah. Well, here is a guy making an album about loving one woman right. and giving his life to this one woman. That should be dope, uh, you right. know what I'm saying, to kind of contrast the perspective of what we're getting so much across the board from everybody right, else. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, I honestly, I didn't think that the theme really, you know, brought, took anything away from the record either. Is no. it was just like, yo, okay, this is what he's talking about. I respect that this is what's going on in his life. He's giving us his real emotions. Like if the man is happy and in love Absolutely. and all that, you got to respect that. But the music, the music at times, it just sounded like you were trying to kind of force feed it to us. Like it didn't mm-hmm. seem organic. It didn't seem natural. It seems like, you know, maybe he just overthought it a little bit mm-hmm. on, on these records. Um, but it's still a lot of stuff on here. I like, uh, I know a lot of people hated Hot Shower. I thought, uh, I thought Hot Shower was, I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun More too. than anything else. Like it had that yeah. real bouncy flow, just being real silly. The baby come on the last uh, verse and kill it. Made in TYO. He was all right. Mm-hmm. I did not like Shmino at yeah, all on Eternal. You, you, I did not like you Shmino. You so much smoke for Shmino. Woo, <laughs> man, that, I didn't like it. I didn't like, I'm not counting the guy out. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember reading somewhere uh, a while ago that like the top two Chicago artists were Smino and Saba. Okay, Saba won. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, but you know, uh, to kind of speak back to why I felt like it was Focus Group, man, we were getting all these like alt rock pop bands on here. Death Cab for Cutie, uh, Francis and the Machine was on here. Shawn Mendes, uh, like, what are we doing here? Yeah, what are we doing yeah. here? At one point, I thought uh, I thought my guy from the Gorillas was on here, but it, it wasn't him. Um, but yeah, it's like, yo, you're, you're maybe trying to grab at too many different audiences where it's like, yo, the best chance, like in my opinion, was always been acid rap chance. Yeah. It's like, yo, it just seemed so organic. It seemed natural. It seemed like it was a different sound. It wasn't trying too hard. It was just him doing what he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. But here it's like, yo, man, we got a lot of pop sounding beats. Anytime that you're going back and you, you're reaching back into that 90s bag, like at this point, it's a gimmick because so many people are doing it and they're basing a career off of it. Uh, I mean, you went back, we got In Vogue. Yeah. It's like, yo, yeah. I 
I mean, I respect it, and I know that that's probably the music that he grew up on, but it's like, yo, it's a wave right now, and it maybe needs to slow down a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, to me, that just that just spells that you're reaching for something that you don't really need to. Like, I didn't feel like Chance planted his feet firm on the ground with this to be his debut album, to have been built up as, you know, the debut album. It just kind of felt like he was trying to please everyone when it's like, yo, we liked you for what you liked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, like you said, dog, to piggyback on what you're saying, I appreciate the fact that it was themed throughout. Yeah. All the way through. Um, I, I, I like that. He took it from beginning to end, and I, I could follow it on that. Um, but like you said, though, I think it's more so he appealed. I don't know who he's appealing to, though, or maybe trying to appeal to a lot of different groups. Yeah, it just seems like he was just trying to reach, you know what I'm saying, as far out as he could and try yeah. to grab as many people as he could. I mean, I get it. He's like one of the biggest acts out there. You mm-hmm. know, he wanted to kind of protect that with this record, give us a little something for everyone. I think that that's why it's, uh, I think it's 21 tracks. Yeah, 22 tracks. Yeah. I think that that's why you get 22 tracks because it's like, yo, even if you don't like, you know, maybe the middle section of this album, if you don't like Hot Shower, maybe you'll like, uh, you know, uh, what, what's this song? Ball and Flop. Well, no, Ball and Flossum was god awful. But, uh, <laughs> but maybe you like something else on here. I, I did think he did a great job picking out his features, man. Meg the Stallion came in and oh, killed it. Nicki Minaj came in and killed it. Like I said, the baby came in and killed it. I like the song that he had with Gucci. Yeah. It shows that he could work. I, I even liked it. I, I thought the song with John Legend was fine. Yeah, it made sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he, he picked a, a, a good blend of uh, artists to feature on here. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I mean, just just try it a little bit too hard, are man. We, and, are we know, at a point short. where uh, maybe Chance, we're running through some Chance fatigue? I don't even know that that's possible because it's like, yo, it, it, he doesn't really run himself thin as far as like releasing music. We waited a long time no, for right. this album, and man. I, I asked the question only because I don't understand why the bad reception is so bad. I, I just, I think that he tried too hard to please everyone and then he ended up pleasing no one. Okay. But uh, I don't I don't think that this is an album that like he can't recover from or anything like that. No, no, like no. That. I don't like, even think it's something that he's... Yeah, like, I don't even think it's a dent in the arm. No, nah, like, I mean, man, either. Just keep working. Yeah, and, I think uh, in the long run, he'll it, people will learn to appreciate it more. I think it's just, hey, listen, man, get back to doing, you know what I'm saying? Get back to that organic sound, man. Get back to being you. Like, yeah. don't, don't worry about, you know... Trying to you know make universally uh, appealing music for everyone. It's like yo man, focus on what you do and do that, and the people will come back around. I believe that as well. I yeah. believe that as well. I give it eighty three. Well, I was at a seventy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was at a seventy. You at seventy? Yeah, I mean the album. It was it was just really long. It, it wore down on me. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I I didn't like you know a, a large majority of the tracks on here, but where where it shined, it shined. You know, okay. I, I, no no hater. You know, no. Will you ever go back to it? I'll go back to certain tracks. And yeah. like I said, I, I think this is a great album to play uh, in spots when it's like, yo, maybe I'm hanging out with, you know what I'm saying, some some younger people or whatever. It's yeah. like, don't want to play anything too offensive, but, you know, still something that's <laughs> that's all right. You know, it, it's good, you know what I'm saying, radio in the car. Yeah, yeah listen, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? I agree with you on that. Yeah. I agree with you on that. All right, man. Well, Chance Rapper fans, get in here. Um, if you want to give it 100, you're absolutely right. Was absolutely. I too high, too low? Was Kev too high, too low? Get in the comments, man. Let us know what you guys think. But, yo, I'm in here. This Kev. And, yo, we are Games Music Life, man. Drink more water, people. Peace. Peace.